Hi guys, I don't think I've done a video before in my blog. This is P001 prototype for Reloaded. I just want to demonstrate it. Can't really do it with screenshots, so I'm going to do it with a little video demonstration. This is a program I wrote this weekend. Just sort of start the ball rolling. As you can see, that's what FPS Classic used to look like, and with a bit of light mapping, this is what Reloaded is going to look like. Now the purpose of this uh, demonstration is if I just pop an entity in here, look at the bar on the top right. That's the light mapping working in the background. So if you leave it long enough, then it integrates the object that you're placing into the scene and you can see you've created all the uh, shadows and lighting effects. Let me just maximize it. I think you get a better feeling for what's going on. So if I push it into here, so near the blue light, and then leave it, you can see the bar at the top right. And then, bink, and then you can get the green reflection from the right and the blue from the left. If I swing it around, say, up to here. As you can see, the old shadow. And once it's finished calculating, now it's uh, updated. So now the shadow is there where that gun is, as you can see, under there. And so what you can do, I'll just give you some demonstrations. I'll place it there. Bink. And then if you want to adjust it a little bit, you can move it a little bit. And you notice as I keep moving, it keeps resetting the bar. So it's not going to waste any time light mapping. And so you get absolutely happy where you want it. So we just want it to miss the wall. And I want it just there. And then now if I don't move the object anymore and wait, you see, it gives it the cue that says, looks oh, okay, I like it there. So that's where it's going to place the object. Um, another cool thing is if I really don't know where I want it, so if I just keep moving it about, look at the bar, watch what's going to happen now. It removes the shadow of the object so it doesn't sort of get in the way. So you can sort of look at the scene and think, should it be here, 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 should it be out here in the, this bit? So let's say we put it out here, and then as soon as I stop, the engine knows, oh, that must be where you want it, and then it drops a shadow on. Or if you want it a little bit over here, stop again. So you can see how it's going to work. The editor sort of doesn't get in the way with light mapping. Light mapping will happen every time you sort of take a, a five second break. And you can carry on dropping objects, um, moving them around, tweaking them. And only when you're sort of you know, when your computer's not got anything better to do, then it goes away and it light maps it all for you. So, there you go. And I added, added a key for what it looks like, the old classic one. So I'll just hold down shift. As you can see, that's kind of what you're getting now with FPS Creator Classic. Um, it's single point lights for each colour. So you've got a green light on the right, blue on the left and a sort of greyish one in the middle. If I let go of shift, this is the new reloaded idea. Um, takes about, th about four and a half times as long, but these are called area lights. So you use multiple point lights at every location in order to create that wonderful almost ambient occlusion style lighting. It's going to make the scenes look a whole lot better and uh, I'm going to improve the speed of the light mapping process as well so it doesn't take five times longer and this is light mapping the entire scene um, I'm going to add some stuff in to localize the light mapping so if you only move the gun then it will only move things around that area instead of light mapping the entire scene so a lot of opportunities to speed up within the Dirt Lights DLL module now I added another thing in which is pretty cool if I press return I go into mouse loop mode uh, because I really wanted to see what my scene looked like from different angles. So, I can move around. I wanted to see up close to the gun. As you can see, the gun isn't actually using a gun texture at all. It's actually using um, a floor texture. But because of the lighting and the shadows, it actually looks, looks pretty good. So, you've got the blue on that side and the, the green on that side. No collision, of course, it's really just me looking at the scene from different angles. So there you go, and then at any time you can just come back out and then place the gun anywhere you like. 
let it do its business and then it casts a shadow there and you think oh no I'll have it out here so it's in that sort of just underneath the blue light and it always looks great no matter where you place it see it looks slightly out of place like a classic you put a, an entity in but as you can see it does a really proper job using area light and um, as you can see it's going to increase your productivity because you just drop things in let the light mapping take care of itself in the background so that's the first prototype I'm quite pleased with it, it's proved to myself really that it's possible to have the light mapping running in the background and because it's running in the background and you're not having to wait for it all the time you can soup up the quality because you're not really waiting for it anymore so you can have a higher quality result without it getting in the way so you actually get a win-win <laughs> which is pretty cool so that's prototype P001 for Reloaded um, obviously there's a few more things to do in the light mapping, add a few more commands a bit more real time stuff, a bit more concurrency stuff um, but I'm quite happy with that, I think I can do that later on and I can move on to prototype 2, whatever that is um, so stay tuned on the blog to find out what P002 looks like but for this video, thanks for your attention, uh, bye